Good morning, everybody. My name is Jacob. Back at you with... Oh, no. I'm going to give myself another name. Good morning, everybody. My name is Glasses Boy. Glasses Boy. Is that really the best thing you come up with, Jacob? Wow. Good for you. Welcome back to the third episode of my Sim series. We are just having a good old binge play right now. Mind you, it hasn't been going very well. If you guys did watch the last episode, you will know that I spent about 15 minutes trying to get my front porch stairs to work, even though the button just wasn't... It just... It was actually the game's fault, it wasn't mine. And my controlling of the camera angles on this game has just been appalling. So I apologize to every seasoned Sims player because I know that I started this series saying how much I love this game and how much I've played it, but it just hasn't shown so far. But yeah, today we are going to jump straight back in to the, our world with Jacob, with our bougie bachelor pad, and see what be going on. We are going to furnish the place today. We're gonna make it look cool. We're gonna put stuff inside it. Let's just jump back into the game. We still have nine grand left. So we bought the house uh, for nine grand, and we've managed to like do it up for, oh my God, I pressed the wrong button again. Look, we've started. I really think I'm going to get rid of all of these because they are going to really irritate me when they don't disappear. Okay, I'm calling it now. They're going, they're going. I'm sorry. I know they did look cool. If we can find a way to do this better in the future, we will. But for now, all of these pillars are going, even though it took me so long to get them working. Okay, so. Jumping straight into it, we're gonna put half walls up. I think the first step is definitely going to be lighting. I think our lighting in this house is going to be key to how we kind of make it look good. What else do we have in here? We had emblems of espionage. Every self-respecting spy. Am I a spy? I thought I was a criminal. We're definitely gonna change that either way because I don't really wanna get arrested in this series. All right, is this lighting? Lights, yeah, okay. So we've kind of gone for like a rustic modern vibe with this house. Keep in mind, I am not by any means an architect, so that could also be wrong. But I'm thinking something like a mixture of the serendipity and jet pendant lamp could be a nice... Oh, also this. Okay, I want to put one of these right above the door because I think that'll look cool. I'm also thinking just kind of like a row of one, two, three, all right, so there on one. So bang, perfect. Don't mind if I do. And then in the bathroom, we'll do the same. So we'll go bang and bang. Yep. I'm thinking the kitchen is gonna be like along this back wall here. So we'll come back. Okay, lighting, I'm happy with that. Actually, is that too much light? Maybe we can just go with one like there, 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 and then move this one like into the middle. Does that make them? And then if we move this up one and this up one. Yeah, I like that more. That's kind of a bit not as much going on, if you know what I mean. And we can kind of see through that's through. Ugh. See, camera movements are just not my vibe. Okay. First step, I think. I'm also thinking the walls. Oh, we got to fix this one hella quick. Thinking my walls are gonna be a little bit too dark, so after all that, could be wrong, could be wrong. As I said, not actually an architect here, so we are flying completely by the seat of our pants. Is that a saying? I don't know, we're gonna make it one if it is. Um, if we go like a lighter wood on the walls and then a darker wood, uh, a darker wood on the floors maybe? Maybe, 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 so he with the mouse says he in control of the series look i think this will work it just doesn't does it okay we'll deal with the walls at a later date for now i think it's fine i would really just love to switch and have the dark wood on the floor and the orange on the walls but sims just doesn't want to let it happen so anyways back into what we were doing before i rudely got distracted we are going to deck out the kitchen so i'm thinking if we zoom in ugh, Zoom in on this hot mess that's going on in here. Could also have the kitchen like running down along here and then just That could be like the whole kitchen. Yeah, I like that except I know I want the fridge Which we're gonna have a black fridge because every good architect knows that black Furniture is the way of the future then 
Ooh, I love that raw industrial. Definitely gonna have a sink in front of a window so I can like do the dishes and like look out the window. Um, I think there, so we have a little bit, uh, a little bit of bench space. Yeah, we'll get rid of these. Ooh, actually that could be a little bit pervy if there's a window there and like it's an open bathroom. So maybe, 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 what we're gonna do, yes, we're gonna put the fridge like here, no, fridge here, fridge, ugh, fridge here. And then we're gonna put these along the window, but in black. Oh, but what, they don't connect. What is this madness, Sims? What are you doing to me? Why don't they connect? Can I, okay, look. Is Sims this hard for everybody or is it just, am I just being ridiculous? See, why does that just look so bad? No, you know what? I was gonna give these guys the privilege of having like a breakfast bar looking out the window sort of vibe, but if it's, if they don't want it, if Sims doesn't want me to have a breakfast bar looking out the window, I'm gonna go back to my original plan, moving right along. I want like just a cheap oven that's also not gonna blow up. It has to be black, of course. $5,000 left and we haven't done anything else other than the kitchen. Okay, is there any other essential kitchen appliances? We need a trash can and of course we have to have that. We'll put it outside the shower so it can be like a communal thing. The caffeinator. The Joe Jockey, no, caffeinator. Yep, black, of course. Um, good, good, good. Oh my God, microwaves are expensive. The Waves Caster. And this can go there. Okay, cool, we're just gonna put a bag of cash in our kitchen. Um, back to what we were doing. Paper towel dispenser. We definitely need a cork board somewhere in this. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not sure why it's in the kitchen appliances, but like right there is definitely where the cork board needs to go. Oh, actually no, right next to the front door so you can like, so we can pin our things, so we know like what Tuesday brings. Yeah, perfect. Okay, back to the kitchen. I feel like this is a lot of miscellaneous items that we'll be able to come back to. That's actually what I wanted. I wanted a bowl of fruit. $250, what? As if that, okay. I think the kitchen's done. It's a little bit spaced out, but we definitely need a smoke alarm because I am 100% gonna burn this place down. Put a cactus in there for good measure. That is going to become a recurring theme of this household is Zycacti. Cool, love that for us. Okay, so we've done the kitchen and we have five grand to go. All right, so next essential service, a coronavirus. Double shower, no, we are going to be definitely showering alone. So let's just get the hella up in here with the black shower. This, this bathroom is goddamn massive. We'll have it all along the back wall except for the toilet, which it has to be black, of course, but I'm gonna chuck it. Just, we just need a simpleton, just a simpleton. I'm gonna chuck it here so you, people don't like shit looking at you. Unassuming public bathroom. Right. I That is my goal is to be able to afford an unassuming public bathroom on my property. We can definitely have a tub because <laughs> we are going to be having visitors and that is a very exciting experience to share a bath with somebody because I definitely know that. All right, so moving along, uh, that is, a t okay, I really want that, but for now, here is going to be the bathroom and let's chuck a mirror above it. Straight up wall mirror. Kind of really dig that. How much is it? 400 bucks. Mirrors are important, okay? Bathroom is done. All right, let's just get the essentials down because I've got some decorating I want to do. I'm thinking I might just put a bed here. Fuck, I've still got to do like the dining room and everything. Okay, let's just get a cheap bed for now. This one. Oh, but I like that. No, okay, we're getting, how much is that? 700, no, too expensive. In front of the window, love it. So black and wood's kind of the theme I'm gonna be going for in this house, I think. Bed, done. Lounge room wise, right? Okay, I love this, the mega love seat. I'm literally just thinking mega living chairs, boom. Yeah, if we put that there, can we chuck a TV on that? Yes, we can, boom. We need like a dining room table, yep. Um, what I've found, okay, if I remember correctly with Sims, Outdoor furniture is so much nicer than indoor. Yep, I love this as just like a dining table. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put it right there with some basic chairs, bang, bang, 
Bang. Oh, a wall-mounted coat rack. That's my wardrobe, guys. It's starting to come together. I don't hate this. I've got a thousand bucks left to kind of decor it up. So we're gonna have the neon parrot there as people walk in because I feel like that's kind of an essential service. A jazzy saxophone wall sign doesn't sound too postmodern signature sign. Oh, hello. How much is that? 450 bucks for this. Can I put it on the outside of my house? I can put it on the inside of my house. Wow. Not today, maybe later in the series, we'll think about that. I think what we're gonna do now is just decorate it with cacti because that is the most important part of Sims here next to the TV. Yin and Yang circular rug, yes. That is it. That is so it. Oh, maybe we do just chuck a mirror. I do love my mirrors, this one. Yep, done, sold. This is really coming together. We need something in the bathroom. Hmm, what are we gonna put in the bathroom, guys? What do you reckon? Should we, should we put a knife and fork in the bathroom because that's like, haha, <laughs> funny. <laughs> yep. Oh, I have $200, okay. That is it for now. It still feels a little empty, not gonna lie. Um, but look, a house isn't full until you've got memories in it. So, without further ado, we are gonna hit the live button and let old mate, let, let's get his opinion on what we've created. Um, once again, as I said in the last episode, if you guys have any suggestions on things to put in the house and what we should change or do, I'm very open, I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, what does he reckon? Where's his happiness meter? He goes straight to the TV. This dude is very me. He's a ringleader. All right, we are gonna dive in and fix this guy's life because at the moment he is a mess. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game and stop here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my main channel, um, turn the notification bells on for all of the videos and yeah, I'll have the next episode up in the matter of days. So if you guys are enjoying this series, don't forget to leave it all the love. If you guys want to watch another video, go down and click one of these buttons down here. If not, have fun on YouTube or wherever else your life leads you to tonight. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye-bye.